My name is Erin Kafaro, and I am a member of the United States Women's Rowing Team. And, well, I like to win. I uh, am definitely not the biggest or the strongest or the fastest on my team, but I am very competitive, and I think that is what has carried me to this level. I've actually only been rowing for four years. I'm going on my fifth year right now. Um, but these last few years have been pretty successful. Uh, starting in 2005, I won the NCAA championships, and we also set a new record for the women's eight. Um, that summer, I won gold in the four in the under-23 world championships. Uh, the next year, in 2006, won NCAAs again and um, made it onto the national team. And that summer, won bronze in the women's four. And just this past summer, uh, we brought home the gold in the women's four. So I'm fairly new to the sport, but I've been pretty immersed and uh, I've actually gotten quite addicted in, in these past few years. It's kind of a funny story how I got into rowing. My brother was on the Cal football team starting in 2000, and we were at a team and family picnic and I was throwing a football around with my brother and his head coach came up to me and said, wow, this Kafara girl, she's uh, pretty athletic and asked me if I'd ever heard of rowing, which I hadn't. I'm originally from a small farm town in Central Valley, California, where there's absolutely no rowing. And uh, he asked me if I was interested in maybe coming to Cal Berkeley. And of course I said, heck yes, you know, I would love to go to the number one public school in the nation and play sports at a division one school. And so he uh, talked to his friend, Steve Gladstone, who was the athletic director at the time and also the head men's crew coach. And Steve Gladstone talked to Dave O'Neill, who was the women's Cal crew coach. And uh, that's how it all began. Before rowing, I was a multi-sport athlete in high school. Uh, my main sport was basketball, and um, I was looking to go to probably Division three basketball school for college. Um, but to supplement that, I was also a uh, hurdler, 300 hurdler, and um, I also ran cross country. So I have a pretty good athletic foundation, but out of all the sports that I've tried, I definitely consider rowing the most physically and mentally challenging, but as a result of that, rowing is definitely the most rewarding sport I've ever done. Sometimes rowing can be a pretty daunting sport because there's that instant feedback right in your face, um, either on the erg screen or on the stopwatch when you're on the water, telling you how uh, fast or slow you're going. But you can definitely use that instant feedback to your advantage. I found that rowing is a sport that is very true to its form in that the more you put into it, the more it will give back to you. So say if you improve 0.2% every week, by the end of the month, you'll be almost 1% better. And in a race that's 2,000 meters long, that's quite a bit. I've started this passion that I'm probably going to do for the rest of my life. I mean, rowing is so unique in that it's a lifelong fitness sport. It doesn't matter what age you are or where you are, you can do it indoors, outdoors, and can be adapted in a lot of ways. Rowing not only makes you physically stronger, but it also instills values such as dedication and perseverance and also teamwork that are pretty applicable to the rest of your life.